I'm here today in my classroom by the coast in Southport, Stanley High School. Absolutely astounded by the three dimensional work and the project work that the current year eights have been working on. They were set a project over a period of time to design and make an insect from found materials. I'm just going to have, there's a few examples here of the absolutely outstanding creativity that that year, particular year eight year group have produced. Starting off from this stunning chalky perch dragonfly here, giving some facts about the dragonfly. Look at the beautiful intricate wings, how the fabric and how the thread has been wrapped around there to give the detail of that really translucent dragonfly's wing. Not only has this particular student designed and made his dragonfly insect, he's also photographed um, every stage of his making and put it together as a design sheet. So it shows the step by steps of what he went through to actually make his beautiful dragonfly here in full detail. This little ladybird character here has been crocheted and the little buttons have been sewn on. And if you can see inside here, there's little wings that come out, which is a very beautiful idea. Again, we've got feathers, fabrics, bits of found materials have gone together to make this really colourful, quirky insect here. A little spider made from wood, cocoa beans to make the texture on the back of him here. Very, very little intricate detailed one here with wire and gems, which is working nicely. This little spider character has got um, little metal arms and little metal eyes that have been spray painted. Quite a little clever idea, this one. This is beautifully thought out and made. Very creative use of materials to make this little insect using computer parts um, to create the wings and the body and the abdomen and the thorax. Really professionally presented butterfly here in a box frame, looking at the buttons where the body of the butterfly would be. This little ant here has been made by spray painting body parts. A really nice, nice use of beads in the centre there to hold them together. One here that's been made massive on the beach, where we've got a huge sculpture of found materials all around the beach and they've been photographed and presented professionally in a frame. We've got a stag beetle that looks almost like the real thing but again the process of how this was made is looking really good here so he's looked at 2d 3d design he's cut out his plan he's planned out how and the materials that he's going to make it with and he's produced the stag beetle really lovely textiles one here where the wool has been wound round to make the body really clever simple idea here but works really effectively the little pieces of magazine pages that have been made up as media insects and cut out and presented in a little jar it's like a little specimen jar that you might find in a science laboratory clever literally made wings here using a glue gun around the edge to show the texture of those wings this is a beautiful the mere sands um, skipper butterfly made from a twig for the body and looking at different types of sweets and textures and beads to create the colours. Again, a really nice one here. It's been given a location and a habitat and professionally presented. Really nice use of wire around where the body is here. We've got a hawthorn shield beetle made really detailed from using um, plastics and moulding together um, by using the uh, wire to create sort of the body and the antennas. Again, really nice sort of Latin name. And it's found near the school in Southport here where it's explained on the little label. We've got a really good character here. Looks a little bit angry, made of plastic parts and all sort of put together here. And all of those legs here are movable. It was really, really clever, clever design. Beautiful little intricate butterfly here made from sequins. And again, another little dragonfly, really clever with the way the wings have been made. And again, a really lovely name, little Latin name that's been given to that particular little dragonfly here. This is another very clever insect, looking at how the wings have been made. And again, little diagrams to show and explain how it actually made and put together and all the planning that's gone on behind making his 3D insect there. This is a lovely little character, 
very cleverly made and spray painted wings. Got a beautiful laid bird here living on real leaves. The texture of the spots on the back have gone using buttons. Again, this little character here, very, very clever, made from old, old curling, <laughs> old curlers to curl up to make his um, body parts there. Really clever, really delicate wings made. And again, a really nice board to explain the process and the materials of how that insect was made and put together. Another really nice one here, we've got a scientific name, a multibliliadid, a velvet ant, and it explains all a little bit about the ant's characteristics and its nature and its habitat that it lives in. This is quite a little clever copper red hermit beetle, and the young gentleman has made up a little bit about that beetle there. I don't think I'd quite like to meet that, but very cleverly um, made intricate coils wire. This is a beautiful large piece where it's got the wings drawn on using Sharpie, really, really textured. This is a clever little insect here made out of golf balls. I really like that one. That's sort of quite clever use of found materials. This is another little beautiful one here. Very, very intricate body made using all the found, very glitzy little objects that have gone on here. And this one's got a specimen label, so it details and gives a name of how or what that butterfly would have lived in and what it was made from. And coming back to the magnificent Chalky Percher Dragonfly, which I think is one of my favourites that I've seen so far from students that have been making. But what a talented year group. Uh, I just feel very privileged to be working at Stanley High School in Southport with this particular year group. So well done, folks.